Pastor Mark Biltz here from El Shaddai Ministries. Thank you again so much for watching and make sure to subscribe and share. Also, please like this video and we would love to hear your comments. Thanks again for watching. Bye-bye. Okay, right now you're going to see the most amazing chart in all of history. I'm telling you. I am not only going to show you the 6,000 years for the last 6,000 years. If I were to ask you, oh, 600 BC was what year on the Jewish calendar? <laughs> well, now you know. On this one chart, I have all 6,000 years. You can look at any date in red. Red is BC, black is AD, and you will see in blue what year it was on the biblical calendar. And I can prove this mathematically as well because if you look at the bottom, the year we're in, 5782, is 2022. So on this one chart, you can look at any year in AD or BC and know exactly because 3761, if you look at 3761, that's when the Jews say it started. Okay, that would be one anno mundi for the Jew. Well, you'll see 3761 minus 11 is 3750. That's why I have the 11 there. Okay, so I have everything is matched up mathematically. No one can prove this wrong. It's all math. And so right now you have on one page, you can instantly know any year in history since Adam, what year it is on the Jewish calendar. Okay. I mean, it's amazing, just one page. You got 6,000 years of history on one page. And we're giving it away for free. Okay. I should have copyrighted it. Okay, so now you're ready to have some fun. Here we go. But wait, there's more. I'm, I'm skipping some things here because you've, I've already laid the foundation. But here we go now to the flood. Okay, do you see the flood? Okay, we know what happened in 1656. After all of these dates are in A.M., Okay, we see here in 1948, you'll see little baby Abraham. Okay, that would have, see that's 1948. All right, now what I'm doing though, I am starting it with the 3761, the Jewish version rather than the Gregorian version. I'm starting there. Okay, we're coming through. We got the 1948. Then we know Abraham received the promise when he was 75 in 2023. Then we know there was the Exodus, Moses coming out in the year 2453, okay, which would be 1308 BC. Okay, then you see the foundation of the temple was laid, uh, 2933, which was 828 BC, if you're using our pagan calendar. And then here we go, there it is. It was right after he laid the foundation of the temple when Rome is founded. It was about 70 years later. Okay, Rome was founded right there. Now what happens? The temple is destroyed in what year is it? 3361. Everyone see that? Okay, I already did the details before we got here, so you'd believe me when I'm telling you how we got here. Okay, so now what happens? We see the foundation of Rome was 753 BC. Now look, here comes Caesar Augustus, and here he says it's 708. Okay, we know it's 3,716 years from Adam if we base it on the Jewish calendar today. Okay, and so now it's the 708th year of Rome when uh, Julius Caesar, I mean, creates the calendar. Does everyone see the math? Okay, so now what happens? Now, early in the second century, a Jewish rabbi decides that the year 3761 was creation. So if you want to know when the Jewish calendar began, it actually began in about the middle of the second century when a rabbi said, let's try to figure out when creation was. So that's the year he came up with it. He's the guy that decided that it was 3761. Okay, is everyone following me? Okay, now, here we go. Here's what most people don't know because they don't know history. 
that's the Julian calendar was being used. But a new emperor came, and his name was Diocletian. Okay, so it was the year 4044 from Adam on the Jewish calendar, but it was 284 AD on the Gregorian calendar. But what do we find? Diocletian decides, I'm going to make up my own calendar, so it's now year one of the year of me. And so he calls it 1 AD, but that's not Anno Domini, it is Anno Diocletian. So in the year 284 AD, no one knew it was 284 AD because we hadn't created the calendar yet as being born from Christ. That didn't exist at this time. So everyone in, in Rome had to change their calendar instead of the founding of Rome. It's now the beginning of the reign of Diocletian. Okay, so what happens? All right, comes the year 325. What do we know about the year 325 AD? Constantine. Guess what? Constantine didn't know it was 325 AD. It hadn't been created yet. As far as Constantine was concerned, if he knew about the biblical calendar, it'd be 4085. If he had stayed on the Roman calendar, it'd be 1087. But everyone in the day of Constantine knew it as the year 41 on O Diocletian. No one in the world of, any, of the Roman world, everyone knew it as 41, the 41st year of Anno Diocletian. That's all they knew. Matter of fact, watch what happens. We jump all the way over to 4285 since creation, 532 AD, which was 1278 from the founding of Rome, we have a monk named Dionysius in 247 AD on our calendar. Okay, Diocletian is long dead. It's been several hundred years. And Dionysius says, we need to come up with a different calendar. So we're going to come up with AD. And I decide Jesus was born. And so he decided, no one knows how he came up with it, that the first year of Jesus was what we begin, and he said the first year of my calendar is 247 from Jesus' birth. So that's where in 532 A.D., which would have been, well, let me, let me rephrase that. In 532 uh, A.D., for Dionysius, it was the year 247 of Anno Diocletian. You see, I had that in red. So I, I misstated that earlier. So you can cut the tape later, Jill, and correct it. Okay. <laughs> Dion for uh, Dionysius, it was the year 247 of the Diocletian calendar. Do you realize America's only been a nation for 200 and some years? As long as we've been a nation is how long they have been using the Diocletian calendar. The Gregorian calendar hadn't been invented yet. Okay, so here we have Dionysius, this Catholic monk, uh, in 532 AD, doesn't know it's 532 AD. For him, it's 247 AD of Anno Diocletian. And then what happens? Okay, he decides that we want to create when Jesus was born and that is when he came up with 532. Okay, so in uh, 532 AD is when Dionysius decided it was 532. Our calendar with AD did not begin until the year 532. Okay, and Dionysius is the one who started it, but there's one problem with Dionysius. He doesn't know math. He has no zero to one. He begins one where we would begin zero. He just knew that was the first year of Jesus' birth. Now, some people today say he was born in 3 BC. Okay, so that's off. But in case you're wanting to know, Dionysius is the one in 532 AD said it is now 532 because I decided when Jesus was born. Okay, so that's where that came up with. But look what happens. Okay, Dionysius, there was no BC at this time. During Dionysius, BC's unheard of. Who cares about BC? The, now, the, the Jews cared clear back there, 
when creation was, but the nations could care less until Dionysius in 532 AD decided this year is 532 from Jesus' birth. And so what happens in 731 AD, there's a man named Bede, and he decides we need to make a BC also. So we didn't have a BC until the year 731, which is now almost 4,500 years since creation. And Beatty decides that it's 3952, that arrow. He says it's 3952 is when Adam and Eve were created. So then what happens? We go about a thousand years to Pope Gregory in 1582, okay? This is the time of Martin Luther, you know, all this stuff going on. And so here, it's the year 5342 from creation. Pope Gregory knows it is 1582, and he goes, oh my goodness, the, the equinox is, is not matching up with our calendar. We have to do something about this, or Easter won't be celebrated when it's supposed to, so we need to correct the calendar. So he decides in 1582, Thursday, October 4th, was followed by Friday the 15th. He added 11 days to the calendar in 1582 to co- make the correction from the vernal equinox. But there's a problem. He's Catholic and none of the Protestants think, agree with him. They think it's a Catholic plot to put the Protestants into subjection. So the Pro- none of the nations that weren't Catholic followed this calendar. There was just the Catholics. They had the AD and the BC. Nobody followed it. And so, what happens? All right. What's amazing? Get a load of this. Lightfoot, I don't know how many have heard of Lightfoot, famous theologian. He had heard that Beatty said creation was 3952. Lightfoot said, no, he's wrong. It's 3926 BC. So here we have Lightfoot saying that creation isn't in 3952, it's in 3929. So now creation is there. But then what happens? Then we have Usher, and he comes in and says, no, it's 4004 BC. So we got the Christians all over the map on when it started. They're all picking different dates. And uh, maybe because he wrote a book, everyone went with Usher. So that's where the 4004 BC came from in the year 1650. But as I said, this is all a big Catholic plot. Okay, so therefore, uh, what happens? It wasn't until 1752 that the United States and Britain accepted the Gregorian calendar. It hasn't been that long ago. But what did they have to do? They had to correct their calendar. Therefore, Wednesday of 1752 on September 2nd, it was followed by Thursday, September 14th. They added 12 days. And so this is the calendar we're using and where it came from. 